Hey guys, welcome to our next challenge called longest words. And yes, by the way, this is basically an upgrade to one of the previous challenges that we did, because I was getting some slack for the fact that in the previous solution, we only return the first value that was the longest one, because the way we were checking it, we were just making sure that the length of the word is not going to be bigger than the previous one. So in this case, I would want to change this around a little bit, where if both of the words are exactly the same, both of them are will going to be returned. And I'm also going to change around a little bit where we will going to use the for loop instead, because previously we used the for all. So I do have my longest words function. I am passing here as a parameter of the string. And obviously, as an argument, I have two strings within the console log. And at the moment, we're again doing nothing more than just returning the same. So why don't we start working on it? And I'm going to say, all right, so there will going to be a new words array. Now we're going to get that array by using the split method that we have on a string. And we're going to split it up everywhere where we have a space. So in order to do that, we already know that we just need to have to pass the space within the split method. All right, so we have a good start. Now, next one, I would want to create two more variables. Now, the first one is going to be the size. And I'm going to set the size equal to zero. So right off the bat, this will be zero. And next one will going to be an array. However, it not will be just an empty array. I will going to, in fact, pass a empty string here. And you'll see in a second why we're doing that. But yeah, this will going to be in my array. And now I'd want to set up a basic for loop. So I'm going to say, all right, so for, and we already know all the syntax. So we're going to start with zero. So starting from zero, then we're going to be iterating up until the end of the array, which obviously in our case would be words. And again, if guys, you're struggling with what would be the actual result here, just console logging it. That is going to be the best solution for you to see what is happening. But I already know that we're going to be getting basically an array that we're going to have each and every word as an item. So I'm going to be looping through this array. I'm going to say loop till the end of the array, since the arrays are zero index based. I'm just going to say less than the length of the array. And then the last one is going to be I plus plus. So each and every iteration was going to add one. All right, so that was easy. Now, next, I would want to start checking. And I would want to start checking the length of the items that I have in my array. And the way I would do that, I would say, all right, so whatever I get back is the length of this item bigger than the zero, bigger than the size, which obviously in the first case is always going to be the case since this is zero. And then since I'm using obviously some kind of value here, this will going to be bigger. So I'm going to say, all right, so if words, so words array in the first case, zero index based, right? So I in the beginning is going to be zero. If that length of the item length is bigger than the size, then I would want to do something. However, in my case, not only are we going to say bigger, but we're also going to say bigger or equal. That would be the difference from the previous one where we were just checking whether it was bigger. Now we're actually checking whether the size is equal, because I can already see that these two words are going to be exactly the same length. So we need to kind of set up that structure. Now, in this case, I'm going to say, all right, so if the value is bigger or equal, then I'm going to say, all right, so size variable will going to be equal to words, all right, and we're going to say length. That will going to be the value right now. So as I'm looking at it, I can see that the first time we're going to loop through an array or first iteration, I or the size will going to be one, then I have four, so the size is going to be four, and so on and so forth. So if that is the case, if this is bigger now, first and foremost, the size will going to be equal to a new length. So that would be number one. Now, the second one is I also need to check whether the length of the item that I have is bigger than the last item in array, because my idea is going to be if they both exactly the same, I will going to add both of them in array. However, I'm only interested in the last one. And if let's say there's going to be some kind of word with six letters, and even though both of these guys are sitting in array, I'm just going to clean out the array. I'm going to say, all right, so you two are less actually than the word of, let's say, what's being passed in. And then now you're going to both disappear. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to say, all right, so if max, now I'm working with this array, 
and now I'd want to select the last item in this array. Now, I know I can do that, but again, using max array, then I'm going to be looking for the length and negative one. So subtract number one. And I can do that because I know that arrays are zero index based. So length obviously would be one too much because if I'm starting with zero, the length would be one too many. And then if I just do negative one or subtract number one, this will going to mean that I'm looking for the max array and the last item in the max array. And then let's again check for the length. Let's say what would be the length. And that's the reason why we add this empty string. Because obviously in the beginning, this is the value that I'm looking for. I'm just looking for the length of zero because obviously this is just an empty string. And let's see what we have. So we're going to have the length. And now I'm going to be looking for if the words, the item that I'm getting back from array, if the length is bigger. So I'm going to say, all right, so I is length. Now, in this case, what's going to happen, like I said, is I would want to clean out the array. So if the item length is bigger than the last item that I have here within my array, then I would want to make my array empty like so. And then I would want to use again, push method where I say push. And then we're going to say that I would want to push words and I obviously. So the value that I have right now in my iteration will be pushed array. However, in this case already, we were going to clean out the array. And I'm going to kind of show you that later on once we're going to have these two as returns, and I'm going to add a longer word just to show you how this works. So this would be the case if the item length is bigger than the last item currently in the array. However, there's obviously going to be cases where they're equal, right? So in that case, we're going to do else, and that will be going to be max. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of spread operator magic, where I'm going to say, all right, get me all the items that you have currently in my max array and just add whatever item is in this current iteration. Now, last but not least, I would just want to return the max array. So I can just do something like this, where I just spread operator and max. And then let's see what we're going to have. So at the moment, I have early and today. This will be actually the two items because they both have the equal length. And the last one was going to be straight since that is the longest word. So like I said, if I'm going to add some kind of word that is longer, and in my case, let's say longer word, let me write something like this, which grammatically doesn't make sense, but just so it's something is longer. And now I'm obviously getting only the longer word. So I did add both of them initially in array, the early and today. However, the moment we added the longer word, we pushed them out. So again, we set them equal to zero, the max one or to an empty array. And then we just added max push. And now the longest word got into array. So that would be the fix if we care about returning actually all the longest words, if let's say it's both of them or many of them all together. So let me repeat that or let me delete that. And as you can see right now, again, I have both of the words that are, have the equal length.